I am going to cover everything you need about NEST 2022 exam. For example, how to prepare, what are the most important chapters, what are the topics you must not miss in that particular subject. First 12 questions out of 17 questions will be single answer correct questions, 2.5 marks and minus one negative marking if you do it wrong. Your scores of best three sections out of physics, chemistry, maths and bio and then they will make a merit list. Hi everyone, this is Vivek Jwedi, 4th Head Integrated MSc in Chemistry at NYSA. In this video, I am going to give you full details about NEST 2022 exam. Now, before coming to the main content, I want to give you a few disclaimer that first of all, obviously the official notification of NEST 2022 and the date has not yet been announced and there might be a lot of changes or there may not be any changes. No one knows. So when the brochure is released for NEST 2022, then only we'll get to know the final exam pattern, final eligibility criteria and various things which I'm going to discuss in this video. And second, I am going to cover everything you need about NEST 2022 exam. For example, how to prepare, what are the most important chapters, what are the topics you must not miss in that particular subject, physics, chemistry, maths and bio. For all four subjects, I am going to make all those videos. I am going to tell you the strategies, how you should attempt the mock test, why your marks do not improve even after attempting so many mock tests and all. So I am going to tell you all of these things so you can subscribe to my channel right now so that you do not miss any of these upcoming videos. Now let's get into the content. So in this video, I am going to tell you everything about NEST 2022, eligibility criteria, exam pattern, syllabus, merit list preparation, which is different for NYSER and CBS, and finally how to prepare for this exam. So let's get started. And if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe it and like this video right now because that will motivate me to make more of such videos else I am also a human and I need some motivation to make these videos okay first of all eligibility criteria as you can see here so there are three types in this first of all your date of birth so your date of birth in NEST 2021 it was August 2001 okay on or off after August 1 2001 in NEST 2022, most probably it's going to be one year more, which will be on or after August 1st, 2002. That is date of birth. Second is based on when did you pass your class 12th examination. So in 2021, the eligibility was that you must pass class 12th examination either in 2019, 2020 or 2021. So for NEST 2022, logically it should be you should have passed your 12th examination in 2020, 2021 and 2022. So even double droppers. Okay. A lot of times people ask me, I am a double dropper. Okay. Like I took one year drop after 12th and then I took another year of drop. Can you attempt the NEST 2022? Yes. If you satisfy this eligibility criteria. So even people who had uh, done their 12th in 2020 can appear 2022 exam. Logically, as it goes, from previous year rules. The third eligibility criteria is your aggregate percentage in class 12th. So first of all, you must have PCM, PCB or PCMB and your average should be for general category above 60% for other categories like ST, SC, Divyangjan 55% or more. One more important point for ST, SC and Divyangjan candidates, the age limit is relaxed by five years by five years okay so uh, you know the date of birth criteria august 1 2002 uh, that is five year more so august 1 2000 uh, like what five years before 2002 1997 so it is august 1 1997 for stscn divyangian candidates now what will be the exam pattern so first of all it has changed in 2018 then it changed in 2021 and now in 2022, I think it is going to be same as 2021. Okay. 
what earlier used to happen is that there were a general section and then there were four more sections physics chemistry maths and bio so total five sections in the exam but now general section has been removed in 2021 so in 2022 i think the pattern will be no general section just four sections physics chemistry maths and bio now in each of the section there will be total 17 questions first 12 questions okay first 12 questions are going to be single choice questions only one option will be correct 2.5 marks if you do it correctly and minus one negative marking okay let me repeat it first 12 questions out of 17 questions will be single answer correct questions 2.5 marks and minus one negative marking if you do it wrong next five questions will be multiple option correct for example out of a b c d all options can be correct only a b c can be correct only a can be correct like that plus four marks okay plus four marks and no partial marking so that means if the correct answer is a b c and if you just choose a b you will get zero marks so let me conclude it there will be four sections physics chemistry maths and bio each section will have total 17 questions first 12 questions will be 2.5 marks minus one negative marking and single correct answer questions next five questions will be plus four marks no negative marking no partial marking and multiple answer can be correct now let's come to the syllabus okay a lot of people ask me what is the syllabus so syllabus is mostly ncert 11th and 12th ncert okay all those chapters now there are certain things which are not there are some chapters which are not included in syllabus okay so some chapters for example semiconductor is not that important but it's there somewhere in the experimental part however there are a few chapters which are missing from the syllabus so please read the syllabus carefully and do not you know waste time on those uh, chapters which are not in the syllabus where can you get the syllabus so i have already downloaded the brochure and the syllabus has been continuously same throughout these four or five years so most probably it will be same you can download the brochure of next 2021 in my app okay i will give the link of the app in the description below okay so now you might be thinking why i'm in a different shirt it is because this is the second day i'm shooting this video uh, i had to go to lab for some urgent work and again i'll shoot this video and go to lab and finish my experiment so now you know the exam pattern that means in each section there will be total 50 marks and total full marks of the paper will be 200 marks now let's come to the merit list preparation as i told you that merit list for niger will be different for cbs will be different what is the main difference the difference is that for niger you need to get section wise cutoff marks in each of the subject physics chemistry maths and bio for cbs any three subject it can be physics chemistry math it can be physics bio math it can be any three subject for cbs did you get it what is section wise cutoff marks so the section wise cutoff marks is minimum marks in that particular section which you must get in order to get into the merit list so that is section wise cutoff marks it is also called smas in the brochure it is written section wise minimum admissible score smas okay how is that calculated and how much should be the section wise score so first of all let me tell you it changes every year depending on the difficulty level of the subject uh, or the section what is it generally so generally it is from five to eight marks okay sometimes it, it can be even four or five marks uh, if math is really hard for example in the exam then the section wise cutoff marks might be four marks like that how is it calculated so it is calculated as one fifth of average of top 100 scores in that particular section let me repeat it one fifth that is 20 percent of average of top 100 scores in that particular section for example let's say the top 100 scores in mathematics are let's say 50 marks 50 out of 50 top 100 people have got 50 out of 50 in mathematics what will be the average of each person average will be 50 marks right now what is the 20 percent of the average which is one fifth of 50 is 10 marks that means 10 marks will be the section wise cutoff marks means if you want to come to the merit list you must get minimum 10 marks in mathematics now that was the extreme example which i have taken right because 50 out of 50 is really hard 100 people getting 50 out of 50 is really hard that means maximum possible marks 
which people can get is 50 and maximum average we can have is 10 marks now one fifth of average will be 10 marks and the maximum average can be 50 marks so the one fifth or the 20 percent will be 10 marks that means for any section in nest examination the maximum possible section wise cut off marks can be 10 now generally for bio it is 8 for physics it is 6 for maths it is 5 or 4 and for chemistry it is 7 or 8 like that generally but in my suggestion you must try that you get minimum 8 to 10 try to get 8 to 10 marks okay i'll tell you how you can get uh, 10 marks because 10 marks minimum you get in each section so that you can be sure that you will be in the merit list now that was the first rule for merit list preparation section wise cut off marks then there is total cut off marks so, okay overall cut off marks which is also called map minimum admissible percentile what is map so let's say out of 200 in nest examination uh, the cut off for the exam goes 85 for general category let's take an example that means if you are in general category you must get minimum 85 marks out of 200 marks okay, then they will take along with section wise cut off marks in each of the four subject if you do this then you will your name will be in the merit list of nicer for cbs first let's say you must get 85 or more overall cut off marks and then they will check in each any three section in any three section physics chemistry math physics bio math like that did you get subject wise cut off marks if that is done then there will be a list of cbs so that is how the merit list is prepared but once the merit list is prepared okay the total score will be taken out of three best section did you understand c first criteria is section wise cut off marks if you qualify section wise cut off marks fine then overall cut off marks 85 out of 200 for example overall cut off marks if you have qualified these two criteria then then they will take they will calculate best three section okay then they will take your scores of best three sections out of physics chemistry match and bio and then they will make a merit list for NICER as well as CBS okay for NICER they will make out of best three sections in CBS also they will take out of best three sections so I hope that is clear how the merit list is prepared now a lot of people ask me whether bio is compulsory maths is compulsory all four subjects are compulsory so now you know that how merit list is prepared so for NICER all four subject section wise cut off marks is compulsory for CBS any three subject section wise cut off marks is compulsory apart from overall cut off marks so i hope this is also clear to you if you have any more questions or confusions you can write in the comments below and you can even personally message me okay you can message me in the app so whenever you download the app uh, you will get a message and you can even message me from the app itself you can download the app from the link in the description now let's come to the final point which is how to prepare so first of all if if you can afford the course see i have already been guiding for nest iat and kepy for so long and we have had some great selections okay you already know here are the list and all i am not going to brag a lot about it but yes see if you can afford the course please buy it that will be the best investment you can make i think in my opinion it's not i am not here to exactly sell my course and all that stuff i'm not doing that what i'm trying to do is the best way to prepare is since we have worked so hard for the course i know how effective it is going and a lot of students are benefiting so if you can afford you can join this part in 1.0 course you'll get a lot of study materials personal mentor and a lot of features that is there everything is there you can see the details if you cannot let's say if you cannot afford the course or you cannot buy the course then i am already making all these videos so i'm making videos on what will be the you know how to prepare what should be the strategy uh, what uh, are the important chapters and topics and all those things okay so you can use those resources youtube channel and a lot of free mock tests i am already giving a lot of free mock tests in my app itself so you can download the app you can attempt nest iat kvy free mock test here are the list of books you can see in the screen you can take this screenshot right now so these are the list of books which will be helpful for your preparation apart from that i would suggest you please even uh, you know go for mit open course materials and all those things 
uh, those things are really hard. It may be very hard for you. That's why I suggest you to join my courses because in my courses, we have included, uh, you know, research level materials, uh, very high level questions and all that. Because in next examination, they even ask from PhD level topics as well. For example, in one of the previous papers, I saw Dale's elders reaction in one of the chemistry question. Uh, that Dell Sander reaction I studied in my MSc, okay, and that is actually topic of uh, PhD. That exam when you give net or gate exam, that question comes there, but they ask in the next examination. So you just imagine the level of preparation you need. I'm not trying to scare you, but if you can aff afford the course, please join the course. We have made the best uh, thing. You don't need anything out the outside the course, and from the moment you join the course. Till the next exam happens, let's say exam gets postponed. It does not happen in June. It happens in September. Then you will get our guidance till September. If the exam happens in November, we'll guide you till November with crash courses, mock test, study materials and everything. So don't worry about it. Okay. So that was it. If this video was helpful, please like this video right now. That will motivate me to make more of further videos. And if you have more questions, you can personally message me in the app or you can write in the comments below. So with that, all the best. I hope to see you at Nizer or CBS. Bye bye. Take care.